Toaster, the bread man. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. And I feel good to be here. Yeah, that was a good one, eh? The whole toaster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see what you did right there. But is, is, is that how the name came up itself? Uh, no, uh, I, I've, I've got a very musical background. Mm. Um, the name was uh, from, I used to be a rap uh, battler, you know, rap battle artist, a battle mm. artist. And um, that name came from the m many rappers that I defeated. So. Mm. I'll toast you, literally like the bread, and uh -huh. definitely, you know, <laughs> it became my AKA. Yeah, do you think you should do battle rap now? Um, I think I can go a long way. I know there's a lot of talent out there, but I think, you know, once a rap battle artist, you yeah. always be, you know, it's always going to be in you, but I think I can freestyle as much as I used to because my strength is freestyle. So yeah. Oh, uh, just from showcasing a bit of your music video for Juliana, uh, featuring Nez Long, how would you rate the feedback the song has been getting so far? Well, um, it's been amazing. Uh, I would like to say there's a certain pattern of the way my music grows on my fans. Uh -huh. And I fail to understand, but I just have to accept it now, looking at uh, some of the biggest records that I've been able to you know, pro uh, produce, like yeah. uh, Mind On My Money featuring PJ, mm. Stay Kalinu. They sort of you know, grow on people. Yeah. And, uh, so far, the feedback is amazing. I think Juliana is going to be a record, a record to reckon with. Uh, this year and it's a good starter for my year so yeah. big up to everybody that's been uh, you know giving me positive and negative response towards juliana yeah but it's an amazing track i mean there's been different artists who've been uh, promoting the the song even before it was released and even after one of them was was slab d but i'd like to know what, what type of relationship do you share with king Dizzle? it's my brother is this like blood brothers in your, your siblings yes uh, we're siblings yeah i Chimuka, I come from a very large family mm. of uh, halves and full blood, half steps. Mm. And then uh, I wouldn't want to expose my family just to, to bring it to my music industry or my, my profession. But yes, he's my brother. I've got other siblings mm. that I share, a parent, half parent. But yeah, he's, mm. my, he's my brother, legitimate brother. So you, you obviously, because uh, I even look at some music videos from back in the day and some songs, and I see you around. You, you, you have been probably looking up to him for, for a while now, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Um, I remember straight off high school, yeah. I started living to Slav's house. Uh, I started living in Slav's house till maybe I was like 19 or 20. Mm. That's when I moved on to get my own. But <laughs> basically, it's been us against the world. Yeah. Yes. All right, great. And how, how has that also impacted your, your music career? Did he help you in terms of pushing you into the industry? Well, I, I, I think it's safe to say it's been good and bad, mm -hmm. both of them. The advantages and, and disadvantages. Like, I know people that, you know, cut me off a deal because I'm Slap's boy or yeah. I'm Slap's brother. I know people who hate me naturally because, you know, I'm Slap's brother, and I know people can't even offer me business because I'm Slap's brother. But at the same time, I know that people who also love me because I'm Slap's brother. There are op other opportunities that I've been able to get because I'm Slap's brother. Uh, I was thinking about this morning, I think it was not going to be possible for me to do the Judy record with Judy because uh, probably she was going to charge me, but I'm going to say Judy never charged me to do uh, that stay song. And that was one of the biggest songs that I've had in my music career till the date. So, um, it's, 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 been a, it's, it's, it's been an experience. I experienced the industry in the widest, <laughs> oh, I've been to the best parties in the country, mm. in an asset of the country because of him. I've had the best opportunities, seen the uh, life of the music industry firsthand. Like, mm. I've seen it all. And it's, 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 it's been amazing. It's, I had a good impact on some of the decisions that I make based on my music, my personal life, and the way I do my business. It's interesting you talk about even losing business because you slap's brother. How? How does that happen? Well, you know, the music industry is not the, the best of industries when it comes to friendships, mm -hmm. grudges. Oh, you know. okay. So That's now we okay. are at a point where at least we see people in different camps actually work together. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually work together. I, I, I'll be walking past somewhere now. I'm going to, I even know the energy is not right here. Mm -hmm. And I know why the energy is not right. Yeah, yeah. so... Tell us about the, also now your, your relationship or this, your role rather in XYZ Entertainment. So are you are you signed under XYZ? Are you affiliated? What's what's the situation <laughs> with XYZ? So um, 
that's a very, very good question, by the way, and uh, a tricky one. Um, I'm an XYZ member, not signed. I'm, I'm an XYZ member, not signed. I, I sit on the board, um, not to represent them, I'm not their spokesperson, but I sit on the board, and I have a privilege to have some first-hand information on what's going on on the camp and what's not going on at the camp. But I've never been a signed member to XYZ, but uh, I've been given a privilege to be among them and produce music with the label. I, uh, in the beginning, to just make you have a clearer picture, mm. um, the structure when SLAP was beginning, I'd like to believe, was a movement to just make all of us benefit from the label. I'll go as far as Rafkid. Rafkid was a XYZ member that was not signed. Um, Johnny C. So I fall among us the XYZ originals. Yes, I would like to call it that. I'm among us the XYZ originals. So uh, Lloyd D. Probably as well. Uh, yes, Lloyd mm. D. Probably you know those, you know verbal agreements and exactly now you know we see labels actually signing bigger contra contracts and and the like. But to be safe, uh, I fall under the XYZ originals. Mm. Yes. You, you say board. Who's, who else is on this board? Of course, the CEO, uh, Bobby East, is on the board, uh, Slab D being the chairman, and other people that are not on the front cameras who make sure that the label is running smoothly. Mm. Yes. So what's the state of XYZ Entertainment now? Does it still exist? Because just recently we had a whole, I don't know if you're going to call it Exodus, or a whole migration, people moving away from XYZ. Is it still in existence? So I would like oh, to... Oh, I know you signed an, an artist recently anyway. Yes, uh, like, like I, yes. I mean, X Y Z is still very, um, very active. They're producing my music, as you see my my new Juliana video production uh, by the X Y Z by the X Y Z studios. But like I mentioned, I'm not their X Y Z spokesperson, and yeah. you know, all my life I've been also just trying to detach myself from being Slap's younger brother. And I think I have worked to a point where I'm a little bit attached, and I don't want the X Y Z label to be so attached to me. Reason being. If uh, I'm appointed to be XYZ chairperson, or if I'm uh, not chairperson, rather spokesperson, I mean, I'll gladly come here and uh, come and speak about uh, what's happening with the crew and what people need to hear. For now, I think it's only safe for me to say the right people are going to come and speak these things so that I'm not misinterpreted or misquoted for saying things that I was not supposed to say on, mm. on, on, on TV. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know this has also been, it's been promoted by Galaya Music Entertainment as well. Um, tell us about your relationship with them as well. So Galaya, uh, Galaya, Mr. Mvula, uh, personal friend of mine, mm. um, who started this dream at the same time I was basically also starting to, you know, have a dream in music. Mm. Uh, we, go as, we go a long way back into our junior secondary school and uh, we met in our adult life and he's trying to you know uh, push his uh, label called Galaya Gala, Gala Music Entertainment the sign Neo before Neo signed to Nexus and I mean his, if, if, if we're two people who have one goal which is music I mean why not have uh, a strategic alliance to ensure that both parties benefit from from what we both have and what we both have in terms of experience in all other matters. So, Would you be comfortable with leaving XYZ and be signed under Galaya since you have a very good relationship? If I'm being honest with you, I would rather be signed Galaya than any other music label. Reason being, um, there's, uh, there's, I, I put in the business aside, there's a reason I'm still with XYZ. And that's how I've been nurtured in a type of environment where everybody cares for the next person. And if I know, if I had to sign with Gala, I know the chairman, I know the whole management team is going to look out for my best interest because they still look at my best interest and I'm not yet signed with Gala or I'm not signed with Gala and they're still going to want to make me have a, a good video and are willing to even work with the label that has groomed me till now, which is XYZ Entertainment. And if they're willing to do that, I mean, why not? Because, you know, I've seen labels in Zambia without mentioning names who just want to sign an artist and detach you know, the mother label that helped build and Gala is so of, an, of, of, of a music label that's willing to make strategic partnerships to ensure that, uh, that, their, that, that, that their music is, is, is produced. And I've seen, because you know, even when you release music, um, as far as I know, usually you release music once in a while, here and there, Tosa's going to release a song, um, at least a song that's going to be publicly out there or officially released. But it seems to be more activity from you also as Tosta, especially after 
HMAC and them left XYZ. Is this some sort of coincidence or it's strategic? Um, when, before that, anyway, I was working on an EP called Homecoming mm. with uh, HMAC uh, and uh, the other side of the coin, rather. Mm. <laughs> yes, and, uh, you know, I, I, tr I tried to explain to them that whatever grievances that everybody had, mm -hmm. the, uh, the label is what best interests me. Mm. And without picking a side, I've always mentioned it. Mm. What doesn't sit right with the label doesn't sit right with me. And I look at the best interest of the label. So mm. if it doesn't sit right with me, then I mean, you've got, a, you've got a grievance with me. So it's not strategic. Rather, I've been planning to come back to active music since last year. And I haven't spent so much time in the studio, my whole music career, since 2001 to now. I've, I've been recording for my first uh, EP, which was scheduled to drop last year, but didn't drop because we had people leaving and I had to restart my, 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 my project again. But now uh, we're ready to remove a lot of toaster music. It's going to be an active 2022. It's good. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. But one thing I've also noticed, it seems like the list of artists who are leaving XYZ seems to be growing. And now we don't even know how long Toaster is going to, is going to be in XYZ going forward. But that, that to some people shows is, is a concern. When we see other record labels, KMP, Nexus, it's really a concern, and even XYZ from, from before. And we can name some of these artists. Why do you think people have bad blood with Slab D when they're leaving? Uh. This I'll is from your perspective. Of course, you can't explain on their behalf, but what do you think could be going wrong? Um, with my knowledge of business, uh, uh, my profession is a business executive. I, I hold a degree in business administration. So when I look at it from a business angle, is people who fail to negotiate the best contracts. Uh, like he said, the Bobby East is a person that made him the most money uh, on the label. So I think people leave because I think the, 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 the one... Uh, Entitlement, first of all, you know, there's so much that Slab can do, and then this label has been running for the longest time. Could have, but really, all those could people could, could that be entitlement? Mm. Yes, I think it's going? you know, uh, I think like, 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 like you've said it, like you've said it mm. from my perspective, mm -hmm. it's been hard to differentiate XYZ and Slab mm. D for the longest time. Mm -hmm. So, even when Slab D is making money, that's not XYZ making money, that's Slab D money. And he's the person who's been funding XYZ all this time. But when XYZ makes money, XYZ has, been, like he mentioned on one of his interviews, I think they make, uh, the business calculations were not making sense to him. But people feel entitled because when they think Slab D is making money, they think the company is making money. But that's Slab D money. And then sometimes you feel, oh, mm. my guy, that's, 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 that's Slab D money. In as much as he's XYZ chairman, I would like to believe he's also not signed under XYZ. So mm. his money is not XYZ money. No, mm. that's Slab D money. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, that's an interesting way to look at it. Uh, but you keep referring, referring to it as a label. Is, is XYZ a record uh, label? Yes, it is. Or is well, it just a studio? Uh, it's a record label, Chimwika. I think XYZ is one of the biggest. Businesses. Especially that now we have. If you look at what calendar music promotions is doing for why artists, why would you why Nexus, would you why would you call it a, would why would you, you, call it, would you why would you call it a studio? Would you, would, you, would, you, would you put it there? I mean, if you're looking at the 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 traits and what's affiliated to a record label, right? exactly, exactly. Would you put the same attributes for what X Y Z Entertainment is doing? I think it's going to be right for you to judge early because mm. we've only made one signing. No, and no, no. I, what, I, I, listen, I don't know. I don't listen, mean it listen, just now. No, I mean it even in the past. Before. Definitely, we had the biggest names in the game. Look at Bobby S. That's a success story. Look at Dave. Dave died young, yes. Mm. But if you ask me, Dave is still one of the biggest artists that Zambia has ever produced. I've had one of, I mean, I've had different breaks in the music industry. Mm. But I said I've had my fair share in the career. How many artists were affiliated to XYZ for them to make a name? We've been there since 2007. But you see, this is why I also ask this, right? Yeah. Um, I had a conversation. You speak about Dave. Before he died, just before he was about to release his, his album, it's, it's a song that was out. I can't remember what it was. I had an interview with him on my Phoenix FM radio show. Yes. And he was talking about funding his own music video, uh, which you don't expect from a record label. Um, you know, Because KMP probably don't even do that for their artists. Nexus probably I, don't I, do that I, for their I, artists. I, I, don't know, I don't know if you've had the privilege to, 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 to review other label contracts. I haven't. Uh, Nexus has been in, a, in existence, but I think the first, the, their first release was a compilation mm -hmm. that had a Lebusu and the, and the likes and the mm -hmm. likes and the likes. And then KMP has been like, what? Two years, 
two years in the game, mm. uh, without any disrespect to uh, KMP, I mean, they're doing uh, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job. But if you look at where XYZ has come from, it's, it's been changing with time. And that's why probably the XYZ management team hasn't yet, you know, tried to announce one or two things because it's a rebrand. These are the, this, the, at the point at which Zami Music is at, that's why you're able to, to, to say Nexus is offering this and that. Mm, mm, mm. And then artists also have different deals in their contracts, i.e. Nexus, when they were announcing your map, said they assigned him on a premium contract. Mm. So there are different contracts based on artists and, 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 and based on artists and, I mean, and, 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 and the record labels. But yes, in the past, I mean, we all, like, at the era that I come from, since I'm among us, the XYZ originals, there were times that we had to find our own videos to ensure that the label is, that the label is, 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 is growing. Uh, I remember uh, one time we was a group and we asked what XYZ was. Back must be in 2012 or 13, if I'm not mistaken. And I remember his answer was a group of collective artists that try to push a movement, which is example Yapa Zambia. But as time comes, you know, you got to make amendments to the way you hand over contracts, the way you give the contracts, the way you do your business. And XYZ has been in different eras. And yes, it has, to transi it has transitioned from one aspect to the other aspect. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right, moving on away from Slab D and XYZ before we turn into the Slab D XYZ <laughs> show. Uh, let's, let's wrap it up. We're talking a bit more about you. Uh, you you've mentioned it's going to be a great year, 2022. What can people look forward to this year from Toaster? So definitely, um, I can guarantee you that my, my EP called Homecoming is done. Um, in the next two weeks or so, um, look at my socials for announcements. Okay. My team is going to be putting together a press briefing when we're going to be announcing when we're going to release the EP, who's going to be on the EP. And that's where we're going to start from. Um, I've got so much music. Um, I hope uh, the management team and all my <laughs> strategic uh, alliances, people that I'm with, are going to allow me to produce a lot of videos. And uh, let's see, maybe I can even drop an album this year. I'm, I'm, I'm as excited as the fans. I want to drop music. If it was up to me, I'd give them new music every week. Really? Yeah. That's good. That's good. So we'll be seeing more of Toaster's Most Toaster definitely. events, Toaster performing and giving out music. Most definitely. That Most sounds, definitely. sounds exciting. Exactly. Tell you what, Toaster, uh, I, I need you and I to exercise a little bit. Most definitely. Um, <laughs> before, before I let you go, I really appreciate you coming through. But before you go, I would like for us to do the Commander Grace challenge. It's still around, so uh, <laughs> I would like us to try it out and see who's going to do better between you and I. Uh, let's see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> so stick around. When we get back, we'll be doing the uh, Commander Grace pose challenge with herself joining us on the other side. Good morning, afternoon, evening, Idion Sena Kumazulu. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeff the Trek, and you're now watching On the Table with Chiweka on Diamond TV. Voila! All right, welcome back. As promised, we get into the challenge with Commander Grace, who's with us here, and Toaster, as we're about to do it. So, Unity is going to do it best. So what, what are the rules here when you're doing the... Ah, the, the, the you just the have to... Be okay, on. so... <laughs> oh my goodness, I hope I don't... Oh my God. These tight pants here, so... This, uh, this is how Toaster is not even it. trying. I try, you can try, it's like this. Okay. But so, myself, I like it when I, I, I'm like so, this. Oh, okay. What do you think? Oh my God. Do we, do we turn? Okay, no. Yeah, I you can I turn. You can try to do this. Okay, so... This is cool. Okay. Even for a so photo, how are we doing like who's, who's winning between Toaster Who? and I? <laughs> oh my God. Who's doing better? Who's trying? Can I check? No one yet. Mm, it no. seems like a punishment <laughs> oh my from God. school. Is it? So oh, oh. <laughs> how, long, how long do you manage to do that? I can do it for a lot because I, I, I manage sometimes 500 squats. So I, in how, how many minutes can you stay in that position? I can stay for as long as I want. I can what? stay for about 20 or If I want because I like squatting, so I can stand like this for 20 minutes yeah. and just... Squatting. That, wow. help me, uh, that helps me with my butt because I want it to be the biggest, the oh, longest. So it helps with growing. Yeah, because I want it to be. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a butt business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So whoever wants to be like me can uh -huh. be coming to me because I can also.
can be a gym trainer. At, at, at the fee. Yeah. You have to pay something. <laughs> of course, you know, uh, Commander Grace loves money. He loves money. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one of my guests being Commander Grace and also Toaster. Thanks to both of you for coming through on the show. Enough. And I uh, wish you all the best. Yep, that wraps up this edition of On The Table. Thank you as well for watching. Keep being interactive with us. My name is Chumeka. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye-bye.